Hey guys, what's going on? It's your brother here, Megan. So my future kings out there. But anyway, guys, quick video on my way to work. I'm gonna try to make these every morning if I can. You know, a little inspirational video every morning. Um, lack of motivation, boredom, whatever you wanna call it, boredom, lack of motivation. Because to me, they're, they're the same thing. You know, when you don't have motivation, you end up being bored. Lack of motivation is your body's way of telling you that you have stopped using your imagination. I repeat. Lack of motivation is your body's way of telling you that you have stopped using your imagination. It is nature's way of telling you you have stopped using your imagination. It is the universe's way, God's way of telling you that you have stopped being creative. We are, we are, we are supposed to be fueled by imagination. You know, Napoleon said imagination rules the world. Every great conqueror that ever lived could not have, have went as far as the day without their imagination. You need your imagination to not only envision the future that you desire, but you need your imagination to draw out the the map that would get you to the future that you, you know, you want to be in. Like, even if, for those of you who believe in destiny, right, even if destiny reveals itself to you and tells you, hey, I'm destiny, I am your destiny, here's what I want you to become. And I want you to be this great blah, 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 right? You would need your imagination to, to map out the roads that you will have to take to get there. You know, you need your imagination. If you, this is a, a fitness channel. So if you want to have a certain physique, you need your imagination to picture the, the shoulders you want to put on your physique, the, the back you want to put on your physique, the chest, the arms that you want to put on your physique. If you want to, there's a, a, a certain girl, a certain type of girl that you want to attract, you know, and I believe everything is possible if you use your imagination. If there's a certain type of girl that you want to attract, you will need your imagination to see the type of person uh, uh, the attractive person that you will be, you know, like you need imagination for pretty much everything, you know. And um, when you stop using your imagination, and I made a video before telling you guys that we have two eyes, we have our physical eyes, which allows me to see this camera right now, allows me to see the people in front of me. And then that's the, that's your first eye, and your second eye, and I believe the most important is your mind's eye, your imagination. It is what shows you what could be. I, I always say your eyes show you what is. But your imagination, your mind's eye shows you what can be, right? When you look in the mirror, you use your physical eyes to see your physique right now. You go, okay, that's what I look like. But your imagination can show you, man, you can look like this. You can look like that, you know? It, it, it's so important, you know, to uh, to use that muscle that I call your imagination. And I call it a muscle because the more you use it, the more it grows, you know? And it's not like... Uh, your imagination is not like your physical muscles where it doesn't get overtrained. You know, you could overtrain your physical muscles. You don't overtrain your imagination, you know? You could keep training your imagination over and over again. It just keep getting bigger and bigger and, and keep, keep growing and growing and growing. You know, you have to use your imagination. It's not something that's, that you buy or you purchase from somebody else. You were born with, a, with an imagination, just like Albert Einstein was. We were all born with a certain degree of imagination, but a lot of our creativity got destroyed through society and through stress and the, the the belief that you have to be you know get up go to school go to work you know come home repeat the cycle watch tv you know so we you know we socialize into thinking that we don't even need our imagination when you really need it you know don't think that don't don't believe in the whole don't try to reinvent the wheel principle you know the belief that everything is already out there you don't need to invent anything or create anything no don't believe in that your imagination still has work to do if it didn't you wouldn't have it so uh Use your imagination, guys. If you don't use it, you'll be bored. You'll be demotivated. You'll be sitting at home, like, man, man, I don't feel like doing nothing. I just want to play. I just want to play video games. I just want to watch TV. You know, like you. Now you become a leaf blown by the wind. If the, the wind blows left, you go left. The wind blows north, you go north. You don't want that. You want to be that fish that swims against the current. But that fish that goes against the current is because he's headed towards something. His imagination saw something, drew a map for him, and he's following that. All right, so guys, the next time you're bored, remember, it's nature's way of telling you, bro, you, you have to stop dreaming. You stop dreaming, you stop. You know, when we were kids, we used to dream all the time, you know? That's why kids are so intelligent. We're so passionate when we were kids, because we used to dream. I want to be this, I want to be a firefighter, I want to be a pilot, I want to be an astronaut. We had all these dreams that fueled us, that got us got us up out of bed, you know? And as we got older, we stopped using that, that wonderful imagination, and we became, we went from magicians to just regular peasants, you know, just working, working, machines. All right, so next time you're bored, just remember what it means, guys. Use it. Use that creativity. Dream. What I like to do is I always take a piece of paper. I believe your future begins with a piece of paper. I take a piece of paper, and I draw my future. I draw the future that I want to see. I draw the physique that I want to have. I draw the room that I want to be in. I draw the car that I want to drive. I draw, you know, even though I'm not, I'm not big into material things, but I, I try to draw a picture 
of a future that's different than today and then that's different than yesterday and it activates you know my passion to want to excel and out of nowhere I begin to have you know thoughts and 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 plans on how to get to that picture that I drew on paper you know so let's you know try doing that pull out a piece of paper and draw the future that you want to have you know if you're big on material things hey I'm not against you you know draw the money draw yourself like money all around you whatever it is but you got to give yourself that image that image of what you want and I guarantee you once you've done that it's all a matter of time it'll come to you all right, this is Megan here. Remember, use your imagination daily.